tonight's matchup between the East Hampton Eagles and our Green Wave. A lot of action to recap tonight here at the Collins Moylan Arena. Not sure I'm going to be able to get to it all. Nine goals. We're going to recap the Greenfield ones anyway. This one got started early. 59 seconds into the game. Matt Garvin collected some loose change out front of goaltender Paige Galp. And Paige was spectacular tonight, by the way. At 6.32 of the first period, Green Wave took a 2-0 lead when Matt LeVoyne, on an assist from Captain MJ Paulin, standing alone at the left side, he was able to corral a loose rebound. He put the biscuit in the basket, made it 2-0 Green Wave. East Hampton got on the board, Gabe Grahowski, Scored a power play goal late in the first period. Team skated off the ice, two to one, in favor of the Green Wave. Greenfield stepped on the gas in the second period. Got started early again, minute 13 in. Sammy Knight was hooked. The referee had indicated a delayed penalty to come up. Still cut in and deked right around Paige Galpin. Made a 3-1 Green Wave. Just over a minute later, with Drew Thompson serving a, a minor penalty for elbowing, Trevor Kocheski made the Eagles pay. When he scored a power play goal, he was wide open on the right side. And buried one, made it four to one green wave. That's the way the team skated off after two periods of play. Green wave were out shooting East Hampton 22 to 14 at that point. third period got started and much like the first two early on a minute 50 in Shane Prusak broke down the right on right side he was on a nice two on one instead of passing he had a beautiful shot Barry yet another beautiful goal and the green wave extended their lead to five to one East Hampton wasn't done yet, though. They picked up a power play goal through a screen. Tyler Darling, nice goal at 5.57 of the third period. Or, excuse me, East Hampton scored one more. Zach Roy, uh, a nice snipe from the high slot at 10.19. Made it 5-3, there was a little question. Uh, East Hampton had pulled their goalie at that time to get the extra attacker out. Uh, Green Wave wasn't able to hit the open net, although Shane Prusak went in all alone. Referee chose to call a penalty as tripping at 14.32, so with a score of 5-3 at that point, Shane decided to put a cherry on top at 14.47, his second goal of the night. Power play goal. Final score, Green Wave 6, East Hampton 3. So Aguam comes in Wednesday night at 5 o'clock. For Kevin Murphy, for Philippe, for Aurel, the whole team at FCAT, NGC-TV, I'm the Skate Doctor, Lou Bordeaux. Good night from Greenfield. <laughs>